fix. I'm busy. I've got a lot of repairs to make. Cindy's got all kinds of Some people are insane. I've already told you everything I know. I don't understand why you're still here. Oh, that man doesn't have you looking for his pet android, does he? I've already told him to lay off it. He's distracting my entire team. Good luck finding your father. To hurry. Hey there. Be careful around these fruits and vegetables. They're worth more to us than you are. Other than him being an egotistical, arrogant, condescending pain in the ass? Nothing. He's from the Commonwealth. He's come looking for some special robot. I must admit I'm rather curious, but I have other work to do. So long. The wastewater in the hydroponic gardens is a drain of power. I'll check it out before the end of the day. Preservation Society. Quite an impressive collection, isn't it? Well, don't be shy. Have a look around. Abraham Washington's the name. Curator of this little slice of American history. Ah, a fellow scholar, I see. Each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. In 1776, the Second Judgmental Congress got together and adopted a document drafted by none other than Thomas Jefferson himself. It was the day the United States of America earned its name and secured its place in history. This magnificent achievement took form in the Declaration of Independence. Indeed I do. Without the Declaration, the rest of these relics are almost meaningless. I must have it. Acquire the document for me, and you'll be awarded most handsomely. What do you think? Excellent! You won't regret it, I promise you. Imagine, you are taking part in another chapter of American history. I envy you. You can find the Declaration of Independence in the ruins of the National Archives. In the DC ruins, you'll find the National Archives, or what's left of it anyway. The building should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful, the place is swarming with super mutants. Here. Let me pinpoint its location for you. Remember, treat the document with care. It's a fragile piece of our history. Who are you? Got any psycho? I could really use a fix, but I'm broke. <laughs> I run the chem shop, but I'm broke and can't buy chems. My wife, Cindy, she's always watching the inventory. If I take any, she'll lock me out. It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. Yeah, me too.
Zimmer, by the time you get this message, I'll already be gone. I'm escaping the Commonwealth. I want to live my own life on my own terms, as my own man. I know what you're thinking, that I'm malfunctioning. I used to think that's what caused the runaways too. But I know better now. Self-determination is not a malfunction. I'm not just willing to put up with all the bullshit anymore. You humans are going to have a full-fledged rebellion on your hands if you don't start treating us synths as persons. I know you'll be marshalling the retention bureau to come after me, but I know all the tricks of the trade. You won't be finding me, I assure you. By the time you get this, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My final act of rebellion against a system I no longer believe in. Goodbye, Zimmer, and good riddance. Candace, it's Ralph. Tell Dad there's no way in hell I'm spending nuclear Armageddon trapped with him in a fucking closet. You can have my number. It's six. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got a mushroom cloud to walk into. Have a happy holocaust. thinking of breaking into there. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Are you looking at me? Don't know you. Don't care. Keep it short. 
I'm short on time, and your five minutes are up. See ya. What's your beef? Let's have a look at it. Yeah, see you. Hey. Hey. Time for breakfast. Let's go. There One of the new immigrants died season. of radiation poisoning last week. Yeah, I heard she was hour. drinking river. You don't look hurt. What can I do for you? That old story? Well, now. I haven't heard talk of that in quite some time. It was all just a rumor, a hoax. Someone's idea of a practical joke. Story was there was an android escaped from the Commonwealth up north, from someplace called the Institute. There was a hollow tape that got circulated. I think I've got a copy of it. Yeah, here it is. Give it a listen. That's a man's voice. Hoax for sure. Like I said, it's a hoax. Don't bother with it. Someone sent tapes like that to pretty much every doctor in the wasteland. None of us believed it. He's totally strung out. It's going to kill him one of these days. Take care of yourself. If you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case, because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. It was so noisy last night. I can hardly sleep. Maybe a quick fix is something that will help you sleep. Hello, City's man. Got, I heard yes, the city council is debating putting railings on the flight I'll deck. I'll try that. Well, I hope they do something. Remember that child that fell off the deck last year? Hey. Yeah, that was bad. I'm sure they'll do something about it. Hey. Tamper with that, and we're going to have a problem. You need me? For what? So long. What are you looking at? Yes? Take your order. A Brahmin steak with scotch. 